Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. So today's video is going to be a H&M and a Zara haul. Now, normally I would do these separately, but I thought I would combine them because there's not a whole lot of things from each, like H&M is this, Zara is this. So I thought, let's just make one big video. You can see what I got from both and it might inspire you to maybe find some new pieces for your spring wardrobe or even find things that you already own that you maybe want to get out of hiding because I think I, like everyone else, I'm quite guilty of buying things new that I maybe already own a really similar version of from the year before. So this is just kind of like an inspiration showing the trends with you etc and just showing you what's in my wardrobe at the moment so I'm gonna jump straight in and start with H&M now H&M is the one that is kind of a little bit more wintry because I bought a few transitional pieces as well as like full spring because obviously you can't really guarantee in England what the weather's gonna be like so I didn't want to go like full-blown spring but I also didn't want to get like too much winter so it's a bit of a mix of the two first is this jacket which is actually the best thing ever so this is a denim jacket with a twist so it's obviously got the really oversized collar here and it's just a really nice kind of easy floaty fit i really like this i think it looks so nice because it's so oversized and this kind of thing is so great if you want to wear a jumper or something underneath and not have like a really big heavy coat because i think we're in that weird transition at the moment where it's not quite warm enough to not wear a coat but it's not quite cold enough no sorry it's not quite cold enough to not wear a coat but it's not quite no you know what I mean, you know what I mean. So this is a great alternative and it's the kind of coat you can just wear pretty much year round, obviously bar the absolute depths of winter. And I think it was only about 35 pounds, so really affordable too. There is matching jeans and shorts and stuff if you're interested in getting like a full double denim set. But as you can see, it kind of matches quite well to any other denim that you may already own. So these are actually ripped jeans from Zara that I got maybe like six months ago. And they are like the perfect color denim for me and they go with absolutely everything as well. Then I got a pair of trousers because you may have seen in a couple of vlogs I've been kind of talking about trying to avoid wearing too many kind of jeans and denim pieces because I mean I've just contradicted myself because I've added some denim but I'm trying not to wear jeans as much because I do have other like trousers, skirts, dresses etc in my wardrobe and I'm just actively trying to get away from wearing jeans too much. So I picked up this pair of trousers which I think if I worked in an office this would be the kind of style I went for because they're a little bit slouchy but they're also kind of easy to wear casual too. So say for example you're going to the office you could wear these with a nice shirt or like a t-shirt and a, maybe a blazer over the top and kind of wear like a slouched relaxed suit or you could make these super casual and just pop trainers and a big jumper or something with them as well. So I actually styled them like this over on my Instagram a couple of days ago and really like the fit of them. I just think they're really cute and the colour is a great kind of in between for like my neutral loving and also my blacks. Like it's not cream because I'll get cream really dirty but it's also not black. So it's a nice neutral. Then I picked up this jumper, which I thought was really great for spring because it's a really nice lightweight knit and it's also got this really cute frill detailing, which I don't know why, but frills and stuff always just remind me of the spring season. And I just think they're really feminine and girly and just something that I love adding to my wardrobe for this time of year, especially if I'm wearing like denim and stuff and I just have like a nice little pastel bag or I don't know. I don't know. I just liked it. I thought it was really cute and it did come in a couple of different colours so there is different versions of this available if you maybe didn't want cream because I know some people get really funny about spilling stuff down them which I totally am that person. If you saw my Instagram stories the other day I went out in white jeans and literally spilt an entire like part of a wrap on myself. So I was eating a wrap and it literally just fell out the bottom and went straight down my white jean leg and luckily I had already taken my pictures in them so I was wearing a big coat and stuff anyway, so I kind of just wrapped it up and covered it, but just typical. Like, I am that person who is super, super clumsy. <laughs> then also another white top, after I've just said that. I actually picked this one up in the H&M showroom, and I basically, for complete transparency, this and this were actually from the H&M showroom, so these were kindly gifted to me, but all the other bits on this rail are actually paid for, so these are the only two things that are gifted, hence why it's got the little sample label here. But this one I thought was really nice. It's got a different kind of neckline, so it's got the kind of sweetheart, but also a bit square, and I thought it was just really unusual. I really liked it. It's a great long sleeve top to add with, like, denim pieces which I'm trying not to wear at the moment but there's so many different ways you could style this even with like some little leather shorts and maybe like a nice blazer over the top or something if you want to be a bit more kind of smart cash or you could just wear them with jeans or even like these trousers to be fair would be quite a cute outfit you can just wear those together and pop on like a leather jacket or something and some trainers but yeah I just thought it was really cute and I liked the kind of neck detailing quite a lot then this jacket actually came with me to Venice, which is how long some of this has been sat in my room waiting to be filmed. So I wore this to Venice and actually picked it up because one of my sisters kindly 
borrowed a year ago a, a check blazer of mine and hasn't returned it so Heidi when you watch this please can I have my blazer back but I had a really lightweight version so kind of similar to this kind of vibe where it's literally a blazer but um but I thought I'd go for this one which is a little bit thicker because I wanted like a nice kind of in between transitional piece that wasn't too warm wasn't too cold was a nice in between to wear over jumpers and stuff but also something that I could put over a t-shirt and it still wouldn't be too hot so it's like a really nice brushed blazer in the gorgeous like neutral and black check very my vibe L absolutely love this I think it's the best thing ever all I will say though is I actually picked this up in the sale for £25 and it's no longer on the website however there is a great selection of other blazers on H&M so I'll leave a link to the check blazer tab so you can see everything they've got and obviously if this one comes back in stock it'll also be on there um, but I just thought it was an absolute steal I think it was originally about £50 maybe but I couldn't resist and I actually sized up on that one so I got a 10 because I thought let me get a 10 where it's a little bit bigger a little bit more slouchy and I can still fit like jumpers and stuff then moving on we have this one which actually again comes in a few different colours and I've seen this kind of style on Instagram and just really liked it. So it's just a really nice simple zip up kind of oversized, I don't know what you'd say, like oversized collar, high collar, I don't know what you'd call this but I thought it was really nice. I love the colour, I don't really own much colour so I thought I'll add a little piece into my wardrobe with like a nice like salmon-y pink because this is like a great not too bright pink but it's also not neutral and I just really liked it. I thought it was a gorgeous style. It's really nice and thick so you could wear this kind of as loungewear around the house if you wanted to but you could also wear it out as like a more of a jacket as we get into spring but also again great for layering so I would maybe wear like a high neck under it or like a roll neck or even just like I have a really like high neck kind of racer style bodysuit which I love wearing under things like this because I think it just looks really great and it's an extra layer of warmth. Then I have this jumper which I actually do already own this it's on here somewhere in a kind of creamy color and I wear it quite a lot so I thought I'd buy this khaki one which is kind of like the softest khaki I've ever seen because it's not too bright but it's also not very dark so great color fine knit really easy to style and just a great kind of basic to your wardrobe because I love having absolute basics like I love my absolute essentials that go with everything I can just whack it out with another thing and just chuck it on my body and it looks good like I don't like having to think too much about my outfit sometimes so and this is a colour that never really goes out of style so you could wear this in spring summer autumn winter obviously maybe not summer because it's a bit thick but you could kind of wear it year round and it will still be appealing shall we say I feel like I'm going insane today I cannot get my words out <laughs> Then the final, oh no, we have one more thing from H&M. So this is the second to last thing that I picked up, which is just a gorgeous little summer dress because I don't own summer dresses. I have maybe three dresses in my wardrobe, one of which is very glam. I have a really casual shirt dress and then I have one other. So I picked this up as a kind of in-betweeny dress because I want to feel like I can wear dresses in summer and just be a little bit girly and just style it with like biker boots or something. So this is what I picked up and it's just a nice kind of oversized daisy print. It's got the kind of, it's got button detailing down the front, it's got the little frilly sleeves and it's also just a nice like short-ish length. Obviously be a bit mindful that I am short as anything, <laughs> nearly swore then, and yeah you maybe need to size up a little bit. Then the last thing from H&M is something that's kind of bittersweet at the moment because we're not sure what is necessarily happening with our trip we're meant to be going in about eight or nine weeks time and obviously it's very up in the air at the moment so we don't know if we're going but i picked these up for disney and these were originally 30 pounds but they were in the sale for i want to say 10 or 15 pounds which is such a bargain but it's just a really cute pair of denim jeans with little mickey mouses all over and i thought they were so cute and just easy to wear like this is the kind of disney that i could wear every single day and not feel like i'm really wearing Disney because I like kind of subtle pieces for every day not necessarily like in your face while I'm wearing Disney so these were great they're really affordable and one thing I loved about this pair of jeans is they also have them in the H&M curve range there's a wider range of sizes and equally in the sale so they're really really affordable and I love them I do have to admit they don't fit around my like hips and back as well as I thought they would but I figured if I put a belt on then it'll be absolutely fine because I'm gonna wear them to the parks so they're probably gonna stretch out a little bit and they'll just be fine. Sam thinks they look fine on me but I'm still a bit like I don't know because they're very hip huggy but we'll see. <laughs> then moving on we have Zara. So Zara I have one two three four five six seven eight pieces, two pairs of shoes, two bags and some clothing. So I'm gonna go through the clothing first and then we'll touch on the accessories. So first up we have this super basic vest which actually has like this over exaggerated kind of sleeve detailing to make it even more of a boxy fit which I really really like. I am completely here for it. I think it looks great. 
it was only 7 99 and to be honest if it comes in other colors which let's be honest it probably comes in like black or something i'm gonna go back and get it because this kind of thing in summer is just the best thing ever because you can layer it up you can wear it with like denim you can wear it with any literally anything and it looks good so for example in disney in the evenings i'd probably wear something like this because it's just really classic and really easy and I feel like basics at 7 99 just can't go wrong and if you are someone like me who maybe doesn't like like this part of their arms it also kind of covers it which is wearing a vest with still keeping your like unliked bits hidden <laughs> then next up we have a top which you've probably seen before on instagram because i have already been wearing it quite a few times but it's this shirt which was in their 70s um like story so if you've seen these are a website they have like a really great story feature where they have like collections so this is in like the 70s collection and there was a couple of other ones so i fell in love with it i thought it looked great they had it styled with like some high-waisted kind of camely tone trousers kind of similar to these and they just looked fab so i got this i have worn it with leather trousers i plan on wearing it with denim shorts and denim skirts i can wear it with smarter trousers like literally the possibilities are endless and it also looks really great with skinny jeans if you just wear it loose because obviously it's a nice like floaty style but yeah i really like it i love the sleeves i love the collar i love the whole thing i just love it this is one of my favorite wardrobe items of the moment then we have the coat which is very wrinkled because it's obviously been in the box being delivered and stuff and it's just very very wrinkled very very wrinkled um but yeah this is a kind of oversized trench in a nice khaki color I really like it the only thing is where I'm small it does look a bit like a tent on me and I think I got an extra small yeah I did so this is actually an extra small on me and as you can see it is absolutely huge but it looks really cute belted it's meant to be an oversized style and to be completely honest if I wanted to I could probably take it up a little bit and maybe get it tucked in a bit at the dry cleaners if I chose to because obviously things like that are super easy to do it's just having the time and remembering to go to a dry cleaner to get them like nipped and tucked because they're really affordable and if you have clothes you really like and you really want to wear then it's worth doing for like 10 pounds or something because if you plan on keeping something like this which is obviously a wardrobe staple it's staying in your wardrobe for a really long time so it's kind of worth investing that extra little bit of money just to make it fit you perfectly rather than keeping it in your wardrobe for like six months never wearing it and selling it on ebay <laughs> um then the final clothing item we have is this dress which is just a kind of tiered floated smock style really cute it's got the little crop sleeves and i just like it i think i'm a sucker for a white dress and there's something that you just can't beat about having a really nice simple plain tiered kind of i don't know it's just basically a basic white dress but it's got a little bit of something it's got a really nice texture to it and it just gives a bit of something to your spring wardrobe and this kind of thing is great for brunch or going out with friends for drinks if you just pop on some espadrilles and it'll take you from day to night or alternatively you can pop it with chunky boots in the winter and a leather jacket like there's a few different styling options and again really easy to keep as a wardrobe basic then i'm going to move on to shoes and then do the bags because shoes i feel like i will forget if i don't do them now <laughs> so the first pair is these which i actually got with a trip in mind that's obviously now cancelled and i thought they were really cute oh god i can't hold them <laughs> so they're just these little like faux leather kind of soft mules with the square toe so very like Bottega vibes and they were 29 pounds really really cute it's just very easy kind of simple summer shoe and i think these are great even if you wear them with like jeans and a white t-shirt because it kind of styles it up a bit with a nice bag or you could wear it in the summer dress you could wear it in the maxi dress with a jumpsuit like if you did want some new sandals for your summer wardrobe because maybe yours are a bit battered i know mine are from previous years so this is kind of a great way to add a new kind of flip-flop to your life because i think the classic flip-flop is great but i've kind of got bored of mine and i like to kind of wear it something a little bit more stylish now so this is a great alternative then the next thing I have is these sandals, which are basically like the new man repeller shoes, which Balenciaga's did it. There's so many other styles that have been man repellers. These are the new ones and I think they're fab. So these are actually $39.99 and they are just really cute kind of, let me put one down. They're just really cute, chunky heeled, like buckle up sandals, which I actually nearly bought a Doc Martin pair similar to this last year. And I'm really glad I didn't because for £40 versus like £150, you can't go wrong. And they actually have like a really squishy sole, so they're really comfortable. They're adjustable, so if you have really flat feet like I do, then you can change that. Um, and also, it's a slight heel, so it makes you feel a bit taller, which, let's be honest, short girls out there, if you're also five foot three, we need that height. <laughs> and then finally, we have the bags. So I'll talk you through them one by one. So the first one is this one which was 69.99 and to be honest i think personally i'm going to be sending it back because it's a lot of money to spend on a bag but it's just a really cute kind of suede leather i think it's real i'm not 100 percent sure but i have a feeling it's real let me find out yeah leather tanned using best sustainable practices made from high quality leather and increasing 
irregularities are natural blah 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 so yeah it is a real leather bag and it's got these really nice thick straps with a little knot detailing very very slouchy i think it's quite cool but i just think i can't justify spending 69 pounds on yet another bag that i'm probably not going to use that much so if you this is your kind of style definitely go for it but i just don't think it's my style enough to keep wearing it <laughs> and then this was the other one that i got which was how much was this one this one was again 39.99 so i feel like there's quite a running theme of prices kind of in zara but this is a really cute magnetic little bag with the little wooden beads and i'm pretty sure it came in another color or print but it's just so cute like this is the perfect summer bag because it's quite wide as you can see so it does fit a lot in it and it's just a really cute little bag like i will use this all summer long and you can guarantee it's going to be coming everywhere with me for like brunches and stuff it's also got a little strap if you did want to make it into a shoulder bag and best part you can actually take these beads off as well so if you didn't necessarily like the beads for certain outfits you can just put the chain on and you've got a completely different bag essentially so it's a great little summer bag and it goes with pretty much everything so like this with a little white dress and some tan sandals or something would be really cute again jeans and a white t-shirt with some sandals the sandals i just showed you and this winning outfit without having to really try very hard which is the exact kind of style i like <laughs> but that is everything that i got from h&m and zara there is another couple of hauls coming on the way. There's like a Nasty Girl, a New Look, maybe a River Island if I can find everything that I got from River Island. There's like a few different bits hanging around everywhere. <laughs> I am the worst for like getting stuff in and then just wearing it and it ends up everywhere. But there is going to be more regular uploads for the time being. So I'm going to try and do roughly every other day from now, which now is the 17th. So it's going to be like Wednesday, I, you know, like every other day, basically Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. And then it'll be like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. So I mean kind of every other day, not really. But yeah, I'm going to be uploading a lot more often. And I really hope you enjoy the content. I'm not really going to be mentioning anything about viruses and stuff on my channels. Because I know that it gives a lot of anxiety to people. And a lot of people want to use YouTube and stuff as an escape. So I'm hoping that I can be a kind of little bit of happiness and escapism for you. If you are on YouTube. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video guys. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.